about this. Look, he shows up at our door every single day. I, I know you don't want to hurt him, but you've got to tell him to go away. I don't want to hurt him. He loves me. Oh, well, I love you too, Joe, and I am your husband. You know what? Fuck off. Really. Ever since we got married, all you want to do is pick on me and yell at me. I can't do this with you. Okay, I yell at you because your fucking ex-boyfriend shows up at my door every goddamn day with another bullshit excuse and I am sick of it. You know what? I don't have time for this. I have a client. Okay, okay fine. What time are we going to talk about this, Joe? You know, if this is how you treat your ex-boyfriend, no wonder he dumped you on Christmas Eve. You know what? Fuck you. That is unfair. I am the victim here. Be the victim. I'm out of here. Alfonso, what the fuck are you doing here now? I need a place to stay. No, 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 that's not a good idea. What? I thought you were staying with Bonita. She had a nervous breakdown or something like that, I don't know. So her stupid mother put her in another rehab and kicked me out. So I'm staying with you. Oh. Hey, buddy, have you too. Uh. Oh. No, Weezy, no, I know. From the day I got married, my life has been total shit. He comes here every single day, and Joe will not say anything to him. I don't understand it. I just, oh my God, here he is again. I can't believe it. Okay, look, I, I'll call you back. All right, I know, I, I love you too, bye. What is it with you? What do you want? What is your excuse today? I don't have an excuse. I don't need one. I wanted to talk to Joe, that's all. Even though you try to make it impossible. Impossible? What are you talking about? I'm talking about you do everything in your power to alienate me from the man that I love. Alienate you from... Okay, you are fucking insane. You have lost your fucking mind. You know what? He and I are married. He's my husband. But that's it. That's that's it, actually. You're trying to destroy my marriage, right? Okay, we have been fighting since the day you got here. Well. I guess my diabolical plan is working, isn't it? You know what, Victoria, just just, just get out of here, please. You would like that, wouldn't you? Well, uh, I'm not giving up, because pretty soon, all of this and Joe will be mine. Get out! I know your story, I really do. You're a, you're a sad, lonely, little gay fat boy who is shocked that a man like Joe, a man as good looking as Joe would even look at you, let alone, Marry you. You're afraid that all this is gonna fall apart one day, and Joe's gonna realize what a horrible mistake he's made and come to his senses, and then come back to me. That is it, isn't it? You evil bitch! <laughs> 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 I'll tell you this, I will not stand for this. I do not care what the provocation is, my husband will not be acting this way. A fight in the pool? Really? What is this, dynasty? You two look like a bunch of lesbian mud wrestlers. I will not stand for this, do you understand? Did you see that? Did you see what he's trying to do? 
trying to do to me? He was, he was trying to drown me. Savage from New York. They can't be trusted. They always revert back to violence. Shut up. That is my husband you're talking about. And I can only imagine what it is that you did to provoke this whole situation and he had to defend himself. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna stand here to argue with you. Or catch pneumonia. Hello, I'm here to see Jeff. Ms. Lawrence, what a pleasure. I don't seem to have you on Mr. Rucker's schedule, though. Is he expecting you? No, he isn't. This is just a friendly surprise visit. I'll see myself in. Uh, Mr. Rucker isn't accepting any visitors today, which is why we are working from home. It is pilot season, you know. But I'd be happy to make you an appointment, maybe after the upfronts? Fuck that. Miss Lawrence! Uh, Jeff! Jeff, I am so sorry. I couldn't stop her, not without tackling her. And you said never to do that again ever since the Idris Elba incident. It's okay, Molly. I can always spare a few moments for TV royalty. Kiki, this is a very pleasant surprise. I'm not even gonna ask how you got my home address. <laughs> Please, sit down. Ms. Lawrence, can I get you anything? A nice tea would be divine. Two Splendas, thank you. And I know the difference between Splenda and Equal. Oh, what about you? <laughs> what can I get for you? I, I, I'm fine, thank you. Oh, who's the cute kid standing over there afraid to sit out? This is Carlo, my assistant. Mm, is he gay? Monty certainly took a liking to him. Yes, he is, but he's married to my trainer. It's too bad, for Monty's sake. <laughs> Carlo! <laughs> It's a pleasure. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Oh, Rucker. Please, you call me Jeff. <laughs> Have a okay. seat anywhere. Oh, thanks. Thank you make my home your home. Okay. I was reading in Variety this morning about the new season of CoverGirl with Sally Struthers. It's been a big hit for the network. No, oh, Sally has been absolutely killing it. There's any talk. Your husband, Larry, was so wise about casting Sally in that show. Here you go, Miss Lawrence. And I know you said you didn't want anything, Carlo, but I brought you a water. Down boy, he's married. So, I was reading about the tweaks that you're considering for the upcoming season of CoverGirl. And I think this would be the perfect opportunity to get me on the show. Well, Kiki, we're just considering making a few tweaks. We have a hit show. We don't want to be making a lot of major changes and jeopardize anything. Besides, Sally is the star of the show, and you don't want to play second fiddle to her. Why not? And to such a talent as Sally. Because a big name such as yourself might divert some of the attention from Sally. And I can just divert that attention right back to Sally. I'd have to run it past Sally first. Don't you own the network? Yes, and as such I trust the stars and the producers of the shows that I run on it. Let's call Sally then. Kiki? No. Oh. Why not? Jeff? I gave you your start on Mama's Jewel. Yes, you did. And you've never let me forget it. But it's not going to work this time. Well, it should. Because how many people know about your recent history with my husband? Oh, my God. Kiki, who cares? Get over it, girl. It's 2015. Please, Jeff. I need this. I know you do, Kiki. But you see, nobody wants to work with you. Why is everybody saying this? I'll kill you. No, 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 calm down, Kiki, calm down. Jeff, you and Larry have done this to me on purpose. You were like a son to me. And Larry, Larry was like a husband to me. It's time for you to go, crazy lady. Give me a part on the show, Jeff. Anything. I can play Sally's younger sister. <laughs> <laughs> Younger? Fine! Older! I am desperate. I'll take a recurring role. Or a bit part. How about a cat? Me? Oh. Kiki, you're making a fool out of yourself. Yeah, yeah, Kiki. Um, let's go. You're better than this. No, I'm not. Please. 
I hear drama. Oh my. Ms. Lawrence was just leaving. Please escort Ms. Lawrence out. I'm be sure Carla gets my contact information. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to tell you this before, Kiki, but the real reason you can't be on the show is because Sally Struthers hates you. You try and strangle somebody one time, and they never let you forget it. Okay, so what is it, Joe? We know, we know it's not Vittorio, right? We know Vittorio is not the issue. There's something else going on, right? So, so what, 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 what is it? Carlo, I don't know. It is really not as easy for me to talk about my feelings as it is for you. I, I feel. You feel, yeah, go, come on, come on, go, 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 what do you feel, Joe? It's not Vittorio, we've, we've decided that, right? It's not Vittorio, okay? You don't want to go back to Vittorio. No, of Okay, not. great, great news. Okay, so, so, so then what is it, Joe? I don't know if I'm ready for this. For what? This, us. You mean me? Well, yeah, of course you. Uh. But, 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 me, you, us, this, this whole thing. I really just don't know if I'm happy. I don't know if this is gonna work. Wow. How long have you been having these doubts, Joe? A couple months. You've been having these doubts for a couple of months. We've been married for a couple of months. So, so what you're saying is you've been having these doubts since the day we got married. Don't get sarcastic with oh, me. fuck off, Joe. What is the problem? I don't know. I need some air. Oh, Joe, please don't do that. You do that all the time. You run off on me, please. Look, let, I'm sorry. Let's just talk, okay? Let's just let's just sit down and, and, and talk. You know, we have something really good here, okay? And we can we can fix it, okay? We can talk it through, please, okay, please. Okay. I, I, I won't get it. I won't I won't get it, okay? Not gonna talk to anybody tonight. Tonight is about you and me, okay? okay. That's my agent, I gotta take it. Hold on. Hey, Carlo. Hi, Nicole. I'm sorry. What's up? I have some really good news. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, my God. Nicole, that's... that's amazing news. I can't... Wow. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh... I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks, Nicole. Goodbye. Ooh, Kansas City Bombers on. Raquel Welch. Hell yeah. <laughs> Joe. Joe. Yes. Yes. What? I got a job on a soap. What? I just got a job on a soap opera. <laughs> <laughs> What would you say if I